hey dear welcome back to my channel so today i'm back with another rom review so today i'm going to uh, do a detailed review of dipfest rom which is based on android 13 for redmi note 8 so i'm kind of bored to review rom nowadays because there is nothing new to talk about anyway uh, let's start the review so first of all uh let's go and check what we are running in this rom so as you can see this is the home screen and the wallpaper there are a few wallpaper which come with this rom so first we check our android version and other things about phone and so as you can see drip first rom and based on android 13 and it, this is an official rom so that you can see here that official tango and jinko and also the security patch level is october 5 2022 that means it's the last year uh, last month uh, security patch and the rom is actually now for now this is one of the best rom and it's better than share droid 9.0 i will tell you why so so this is the what it called about of this rom and we are getting xiaomi parts option here as you can see xiaomi parts is there so you can control your skin burning issue i have talked about this thing a lot now so i don't want to talk and there is subtle features so it's actually uh as you can see it's uh very nicely laid out so you can check everything it's not that they put a lot of features here so the the features they put are amazing actually so you can tweak your uh, system ui a bit with this kind these things and if i go back here the one of the drawback of this rom is which i have been complaining long time nowadays for and maybe all of the roms coming out nowadays on based on android 13 i haven't found this feature which is the hotspot sharing like 5 gigahertz band so you will not get this one here also so there is no 5 gigahertz band sharing option just 2.4 gigahertz and as you can see i have been using lte for about three four days i always run lte on my phone just using internet from this raw there is no issue about network dropping or hitting issue if you browse or play games i haven't found that if you play extreme games it will hit up because this is not a gaming phone so this is about the setting and other things and if you come here the notification panel is uh, as you find it android 13 but you can customize it like you can put like individual wi-fi and bluetooth options so there is no issue about that you can put a more from here there is all available and one another thing is that the volume buttons are left side not right side and i haven't found any like tweak to take it in this side most of the time some rom provide the, the like features to uh, put it right or left but i haven't found on this rom that one i have tried it uh, if you guys find it you can tell me in the comment box of this rom review so with this rom what do you get so this rom come with few apps and you will get a uh, xiaomi camera here and my camera is built in here and also you will get google camera go which also works fine so no issue with that so the raw the, the cameras are working perfectly fine although i don't really use these cameras i just use my gcam so as you can see i have many of them and i have already put the link of the gcam which i ha i am using right now on my previous video you can check it there and you will get the link there and also if you want to try out the sea droid rom you can try it there so i'll put that link also so what difference between this rom and sea droid rom the battery backup like uh, the charging the things everything's perfectly fine on this rom and it is better in terms of like fluidity from sea droid rom so as you can see it's really fluid when i use this rom and i take my iphone i feel like i'm using something else so it's a bit slow so if i put my iphone here so okay let me, so if i put my iphone here so it, it is like a s slow type of thing iphone is so if I go like, uh, it feel like this is uh, running on like 75 hertz display, but I have tried, I have checked the uh, refresh rate, it's 60. So as you can see here, it's, it is very smooth here. So I feel like this phone is slow when I use uh, this ROM on my Redmi Note 8. Although it's far better when I do multitasking and other things, but here this ROM is actually fluent. 
there is no issue so as you can see everything works perfectly fine and i feel like the refresh rate is increased on this rom maybe it's not running on 60 it's like 75 but i have tried from the refresh rate from the developer option i have tried it i tried it on and checked it it's stuck on 60 i don't know how it's so fluent so as you can see here everything runs perfectly fine actually so no issue so as i'm saying i'm really boring about kind of reviewing this kind of rom because there is nothing new in this rom you will find one thing new is that the wallpapers so the wallpapers are new here so they, they come with some wallpapers like uh, all of our um here and this this all are similar kind of wallpaper with uh, dark and other things and it's quite beautiful actually this wallpaper so most of the roms come with like the wallpaper they come with is almost from the stock roms so this rom has something new here rather than that there is nothing new and this is actually a better rom than sea droid rom so if you want to try this rom i will put the rom link in the description below you just can flush it and it come with uh like google apps so you don't need to flash uh, uh, any g apps or anything and you can root it like you can use magisk here so i am i'm using magisk now and i have restored all the apps and all the apps running now as you can see here there is no issue with that also so that's it about drift fest rom thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time with 